happy holidays, Lone Fox family. I cannot wait for today's video. We are decorating for Christmas time. So this is the first time this home is seeing holiday decor. And I will say over the past couple of years, I have acquired quite a bit of Christmas decor, an abundance of it. And I'm kind of hard to part with holiday decor for some reason. So because of that, we have a lot to work with. I also do have a nine foot tree, which I didn't use in the last couple apartments because I got it when I lived in downtown years back. I've saved it for many years now. So we're gonna bring that up, put it in the main living room. It's flocked and I'm so excited to see that in here. I also got a new sofa in the main living room. I'll give you guys a little look. I actually picked this one up from Pop-Up Home. It's a vintage shop in Los Angeles. Honestly, I followed them for years and I always love what they post and I just saw this one pop up on their Instagram and I just kept thinking about it for like two weeks. I couldn't get it out of my head. Finally, I got it and it's so comfortable. I love it. It's like an Italian 80s leather ruched situation but yeah we have some decorating to do editing drew popping in quickly because i just realized that our black friday sale started yesterday and this video is being posted tomorrow take advantage of our black friday sale it's the biggest sale of the year 20 percent off site wide so everything you see in this video like all the christmas decor everything is 20 percent off and in case you guys didn't know i have an app on iphone ios and also on android and it makes the checkout process the shopping process so easy and simple um i just i love shopping through the app it's really easy i finally figured out my new camera and i really like how like wide of a frame i can get it's so cool and i need to kind of figure out where we're going to put the tree now i do definitely want it on this end just because you enter from where the camera's at and it's kind of going this way. I pulled the chairs apart because I have an idea. I found this tripod Christmas tree base on Facebook Marketplace for $25 and I just thought it was so cool. So I picked it up. I think I'm going to put the tree in it this year. I was thinking that we can either have it go directly in front of the door. We can have it over on this side or we can have it over on that side. So there's like three options as to where the tree can go. I am actually going to do an Instagram poll right now and ask where you guys think the tree should go. So if you're not following me, Lone Fox Home right here. All right, so we have three options here. It's definitely gonna go on this side. I think for now, I'm going to put it in between these chairs because we can move it. So it could be moved around. which this mantle is gonna be a little different than downstairs because there is not a mantle here as you can see because I removed it and brought it back to more of the original style of this fireplace. But I do have a couple of garlands from last year and these are packaged and for some reason they smell like barbecue. Full on like, kind of an odd scent for a garland. I do have a nail on either side from decorating for the fall time. So for this fireplace, I started off with just two garlands and I draped those across the front and then added a strand of bells. And this was getting me at a good starting point, but I knew I wanted to make it look like there was kind of like some drape on either the left and right side of this as well, because I feel like it highlights the frontal look of the fireplace. So I added these bell clusters and then I had some ribbon from last year. All of this that I'm using actually is from the last couple of years. So I keep every little ribbon scrap possible. These were on the tree last year kind of wrapped around it but I kept them and I'm turning them into bows on the garland and then wrapping a few strands that I had I only had like four pieces of this ribbon total so I was excited that I was able to get it um, usable on this mantle area and a little detail I have to highlight is this curly ribbon here now it was just ribbon on a roll but when you pull it off and just kind of like place it wherever and don't pull on it. It stays curled like that, which is so cute. I popped in some blueberry garland, which I love. I got this from Anthro this year, which I feel like so unexpected for Christmas time. And that's the mantle.
I moved the tree to the center and I kind of am liking it. I asked on the poll and a lot of you guys said to move it to the center and I don't know why. I would always think to put it on the left side over here, but that's why I love asking. So it's in the center. I opened up the doors as well just to let a little breeze in. Oh, look at this background. It's looking so good in here. If you've been around on the Lone Fox channel for a bit, you would know that I have an online store. It is lonefox.com. And every year we do like a big holiday collection and it's normally about a hundred items, but this year, it is almost 300 items that I literally sourced myself. I went to market at the beginning of the year, found everything for the shop, and we're gonna be decorating my trees and my home with a bunch of the decor from the Lone Fox shop. So definitely if you're looking or in the market for some holiday decor this year, check out my website. I will link it at the top of the description box. I have just a small assortment of some of the ornaments that we are offering. So I'm gonna be adding these like gilded brass ornaments. I think are so cool. We have these plaid ones that I love. I've just been so into plaid lately and they come in three different colors. We also have so many different like little specialty ornaments such as little owls, there's cocktail glasses, there's like butter sticks, croissants, cheese, passports. These ones are my favorite that we're adding to this tree in particular. They actually come in a set of four. So you get these three and then this one right here and they're paper mache, but how great is the pattern on these? I think they're so fun. Like they kind of give off like whimsical circus vibes almost. This year I got these as well. I thought they'd be fun. They're dried like ferns and little flowers inside of these glass, very like delicate baubles. Every single item up in this little nook up here is from the site. There's a bunch guys, even gift wrapping. So I gotta do a little holiday promo, you know? So check it out. try to find a very similar tree to this one. It really is such a beautiful color. It kind of has a sagey, kind of very light tone to it, which I love. And whenever I place ornaments on a tree, there's no rhyme or reason to this. Just have fun with it. Marie was helping me out. We do this every single year. We have lived together, believe it or not, for nine years now. So yeah, this is kind of a tradition. We are going to be putting garland around the arch into my office area, which I'm so excited about. And I do have kind of a spoiler alert. This office area might be changing in the future. Just a little bit. I have ideas. I have ideas. I have them. Um, so Justin went down to the flower district this morning and picked up some garland while I was editing. And the flower district in Los Angeles is in downtown. We got 30 feet of garland, real garland. There's three types of greenery in there. I don't remember any of them except for, like cedar. Cedar. Except for cedar. Cedar, noble, noble pine. And it was $6 a foot. Mm -hmm. So if you're curious on the price, it was $180 is what we spent on this garland. But that's really not too bad. We get 30 feet of it, so. And, and it's handmade. Oh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> it really is. It smells so nice. That's 20 feet long. <laughs> cutting it because the direction flows in one way. So now we're gonna swap it and then have it flow the opposite way. So I will say, if you're gonna add real garland, you probably will have to use a couple of nails, which we had to do. I just used some small finishing nails, just little picture nails, which create the smallest holes. So you can probably just go in with paint after the season's over with to touch them up. I also ended up moving the tree over to the right side to see how I'd like it for a bit. And then this doorway here which actually leads into the living room got kind of the bad selection of garland like the little end pieces but i kind of made it cute still i feel like it looks folky there's like a little crown on the top and yeah it's like having a bad hair day but kind of cute still you know and then these ornament stands these are so fun i found them from anthropology this year it's to display little specialty ornaments or if you wanted to kind of put an ornament on a shelf this is a great way to display that i love this the coffee table styling pretty simple. I uh, just added a tray, a candle, some of these reindeers from the shop. And whenever I say the shop, I'm referring to my store online. Um, so if I say that, just know it's from the shop. And this little bin here, the little uh, like 
horn box. I love that. It's also from the store. It's sadly sold out, but it has a remote and everything inside of it. And that is the coffee table. Super simple. And I popped a throw pillow on the sofa, but look how great it's looking. It's Sunday today and um, I'm doing some laundry finally because I just got the laundry room makeover up and if you have yet to see that video you have got to check it out it is such a great laundry room I love the way it looks and so I'm washing my bedding you can see my helix mattress which happens to be the sponsor of today's video I just love my helix mattress like look how thick and juicy this mattress is. It really is the most comfortable mattress ever. Had it for years now. I feel like she's just broken in. Like I can have her for so many more years. I absolutely love my Helix mattress. I mean, there's really nothing to dislike about Helix. The first thing, the mattresses come shipped in a box like this. I find it so convenient, especially if you have to move it to a room. Like who wants to move a mattress around their entire home? This box is so much easier. You could unroll it just like this and it puffs up. It probably grows like 10 times in size. It is unreal how they're able to compact a mattress in a box like this. And on top of an incredible product, they have free shipping within the US, a 10 year warranty and flexible payment plans and financing options because a mattress is definitely an investment, but Helix makes it so easy to make sure that you have quality sleep that won't break the bank. And I kind of feel like I have been growing up with my Helix mattress over the years. It gets more comfortable as you sleep in it, I swear. And selecting a mattress has never been easier because they offer a sleep quiz, which is perfect because you can input all of your different body specifications, what type of sleeper you are, or whether you're a side sleeper, a back sleeper, and it will pair you up with a perfect mattress, plus you get a 100-day sleep trial, meaning you can try it out for 100 days, and if you don't love it, they will come back and pick it up. You do not have to put it back in the box, which is incredible, to make sure that you love your mattress. So definitely take advantage of Helix's incredible Cyber Week offerings. This is their biggest sale of the entire year, so by clicking my link below or visiting helixsleep.com slash Scott, you can get 25% off your purchase, plus a free sleep bundle and this is for a limited time only so make sure to take advantage you can visit helix sleep site for more details i also got a new bed frame which has a drawer on the bottom of it how cool is that i'm going to share more of that when we get to my bedroom makeover which hopefully is going to be the next space that we're working on uh but i actually want to put a christmas tree in the corner over here and over the years i have kind of collected a couple of trees especially working with a few brands during the holiday seasons sometimes they want you to use their tree in particular so they send it over so i've collected a few and i have an additional christmas tree this one I actually had in my living room last year as the main one. This is a nobilis or nobil, nobilis, nobilis fir pre-lit tree. And this is from Terrain and Anthropology. It's a seven foot tree. I also want to share this hack with you. So you can purchase these woven tree collars and they're always marketed like this, like kind of as a collar that goes under the tree. I just flip them which I don't know why I never thought to do this the first like two years I had it and it turns it into a basket and I feel like it's something that you just might not think to do because a lot of times tree collars are always this way they're always marketed in like this kind of like upward cone shape but flip your tree collar and you have more of a basket shape for your tree which I think looks so cute decorate I want to go a little more simple on this tree because the other two I did a lot on and so for this one we actually have these stunning like beyond gorgeous silk ribbon in the store and you get all of this guys like you get all of this that you see I think it's like 75 yards or something like that it's an insane amount $15 and it comes in a bunch of different colors, but look how pretty. I think it's like very elevated for the holidays and it's perfect for gift wrapping. It's just crazy how much you actually get. Um, you get it kind of like wound up in this little ball bundle like this. You undo it and it just pops open. I'm just so into red right now. I kind of want to do the burgundy on this tree. I feel like it's just so rich in this color. It's the darker red. We have two different red options. And I was thinking to myself, like it's such a hassle having to tie bows on every single one. Like you know, especially if you want to reuse them year after year. So why not put an ornament hook on your tied bow 
and then you can take them on and off. The thing I love is that you get a whole bunch of this ribbon too, so you can do very kind of like lazy bows, which is what I like, the very casual, more floppy, like elongated tails. Like this is the kind of bow I'm looking for, you know, like this is a bow I like. Your ornament hook on it to our tree branch. Okay, that's actually cute. So I just kind of cut a long, generous amount. Very French, kind of like pretty. Ornament hook slipped through. I added a bunch of bows to the tree and I'm loving it. I still have this much ribbon left um, from that $15 thing of recycled silk ribbon. So this, you guys, if you want some, get it because it's been going quick on the site. I definitely do still wanna add some of these little silver ornaments as well. So I'm just gonna pop some of these on. And our last step is to just put a blanket in our basket at the bottom to cover the base. So I'm about to start moving around the furniture in the lobby area. One of my absolute favorite features of this living room is the egg-shaped window right here. I love it so much and it's definitely the focal of the house. Like when you see this house, it is the first thing you notice on it. And in this window, I want there to live a Christmas tree. So we're going to start moving some of the furniture. This incredible sofa is modular from Castlery, which I love. So we can kind of move it around, piece it together. I kind of want to do something symmetrical on either side. Here is the tree! It's so cute in front of the window. I need to find the right light setting. It feels so great in here actually. Like you can actually, nice conversational vibes. Oh, I still do have this really cute Lulu and Georgia hair, which I can kind of have facing inwards. I had a second one of these chairs, which I haven't got to use yet. So I just put them next to each other here. Apologies for the split screen filming of this mantle. So I actually ended up filming this on my phone for TikTok and Instagram. And after filming it, which it took me probably two to three hours to do this mantle, I really put a lot into this one, layering up some garlands first. But after I did it, I just didn't have it in me to take all of it down and have to redo all of it horizontally because everything was just so perfectly placed. And after that many hours, I was just like, I cannot take this down. So I'm sharing the footage I filmed on my phone which I first layered in some garlands, as you can see here, and I'm kind of framing out my fireplace because it has a niche on um, the center there. And a really fun and free element I added was this dead stick from the outdoors. I actually took it right off of a tree and I added it for some additional height, but I also love the organic nature that I added. And I added just a small piece of it on the left side as well to make it kind of feel like it was throughout the entire mantle area. Now, these houses here are from Anthro as well. I have quite a bit of decor because I actually worked with them on an Instagram this season so I love their uh, holiday decor as well I think they do such a great job so I'll link below absolutely everything you see throughout the video if you are curious on anything I'll kind of do it per section as well but I did layer in a few different bits from anthropology including this gold star garland and also these little like finial pieces are really fun as well that are glass they light up so I popped a few of those throughout and added a few bells to the end there and that was really how I finished this off these stockings are really cute you, and I love just adding bows to absolutely anything this holiday season. I feel like bows are the number one trend for the holidays this year. Now, 
Now, I've been blabbing too much throughout this video, so I'm gonna let you enjoy watching me style the blow tree, but I'm using a bunch of hand-painted ornaments. Every single thing you see on this tree is actually from my shop, which is so exciting. This is like the Lone Fox shop tree this year, and I added a bunch of these scalloped wood garlands, which are so cute, paper mache ornaments, and really filled it out. I wanted it to kind of have this folky, just very crafty DIY feel to it, and I love the way it looked. To wrap up the tree, just adding a couple pieces of the red silk ribbon as bows, and that finishes up this holiday season's decor. I cannot wait to reveal it to you.